Hello mga kaagri, kamusta? Agri Talks page nga pala. Ngayon ay susubukan po nating sagutin ang isa sa mga mahirap na question mula po sa review questionnaire ng licensure examination for agriculturist. Pero bago pong lahat ay huwag kalimutan na mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell button para updated po kayo sa mga usaping pang-agrikultura. Maraming salamat po. First of all, I would like to acknowledge our soon-to-be licensed agriculturist na mag-take po na kanilang board exam this coming November 9 to 11. So, good luck and good rest po sa inyo. Kaya yan. So, ngayon, ang question pong ito ay galing po sa isa sa mga estudyante ko noon sa CTU Argao Campus. Kamusta po kayo guys? In ini ni. So, ang question pong ito ay galing kay Livy Mosqueda. Isa po siya sa mga graduate ng CTU Argao na gustong mag-take po ngayong November. Actually, this question is very hard, especially for the students who are not uh, major in soil science. Mahirap po talaga ang question na to. So, this student requested me to try answering this question para po mas malinaw sa kanila kung paano po yung process ng pagsagot nito. So I am very thankful by the request of the students since this is a good opportunity where I can share my little knowledge about this topic. And not just for the student but for all the agriculture student and for all the graduate of agriculture uh, who are willing to take the licensure examination for agriculturist Uh, especially to CTU Argao and the Visaya State University kung saan ba ako nagtatrabaho. Kaya samalan na po natin. So this is the question. A soil has a pH of 5.5 and a CC of 20 mL equivalent per 100 grams of soil. The grower needs to lime the soil to pH 6.5. If the percent base saturation at 5.5 pH is 50% and 75% at pH 6.5. Calculate the amount of calcium carbonate required to raise the pH of 1 hectare of soil. So ngayon, base po sa question, meron po tayong given na 5.5 pH. So sa 5.5 na pH po guys, meron po siyang CEC na 20 mL equivalent per 100 grams of soil. Ano mo ba yung CEC? So it stands for Cation Exchange Capacity. Ito po yung total amount or concentration of cations or nutrients that are found in our soil. So take note po guys, during CEC, ang kinukumpute po niya ay yung totality of basic and acidic cations. Meron po tayong basic cations and acidic cations. Okay? Yung acidic cations, sila po yung nagbibigay acidity sa ating soil. Tapos yung basic cations, sila po yung nag-increase ng ating pH. Okay? So, example of basic cations, so we have sodium, calcium, And for acidic, the examples are aluminum 3 plus and hydrogen. Okay, so yan po yung sa CEC. So next po, meron po tayong given na percent base saturation na 50%. Okay, uh, what is percent base saturation? Ito po yung uh, the amount of exchangeable bases na andito po sa CEC. Di ba, meron po tayong basic and acidic cations. Itong percent base saturation, nagko-compute po kung gaano karami yung mga basic cations mula po sa CEC. Okay? Kasi meron pong basic at saka acidic. So, what are the example of basic cations? Meron po tayong apat. So, meron tayong sodium, calcium, 
magnesium, and um, potassium. So, these are the four exchangeable bases. So, sila po yung kinukumpute para makuha po ang base saturation. So, we have another given. So, ganito raw po yung senaryo. Yung 5.5 pH ay gagawin natin 6.5 pH. And then, if 6.5 na po yung ating pH, ay meron po siya dapat na percent base saturation na 75%. Okay? Yung tanong po ngayon is, gaano po karami ang calcium carbonate na ating gagamitin to raise the pH from 5.5 to 6.5. Siya nga pala, itong calcium carbonate ay isa po siya sa mga lime materials. Ito po yung nagpapa-increase ng ating soy pH. Okay? So, yung tanong po, gaano karaming calcium carbonates? Okay? So, now, we will determine first kung gaano po ba karami yung exchangeable bases or basic cations na andito if the soil has a 20 milliequivalent per 100 grams yung CEC tapos 50% of that is basic cations or base saturation so paano po ba makompute kung gaano karami ang basic cations kung ganito so in any guys okay so the formula is the percent base saturation equals bases divided by CEC. Yan po yung original na formula. So yung kukunin po natin ay bases. Paano po ba? So we will derive that one. So cross multiply lang guys. So magiging bases is equal to times lang po ito percent base saturation times CEC. Yan po ngayon yung bago natin formula. Para makompute po natin kung gaano po ba karami yung exchangeable bases or basic cations. Kung yung CEC natin is 20, tapos yung base saturation is 50%. So in any way guys, okay, so we will put the value. Percent base saturation ay 50%. So, in decimal, magiging 0.5 po siya. So, alam niyo po yan kung paano magiging 0.5. Um, tapos yung CEC is 20. So, 20 milli equivalent per 100 gram soil. So, 0.5 times 20, that would be 10. So, 10 milli equivalent per 100 grams of soil. This is the basis. Basis or basic cations. Para sa po yan. Basic cations and basis. So, now, masasagutan na po natin yun. So, ganito po yung scenario. Kung yung soil mo ay may CEC na 20 mil equivalent per 100 grams soil, tapos yung base saturation niya po guys ay 50% so meaning, kalahati po pala nito ay basic cations. Okay? Well, take note, if you are computing the base saturation, hindi po ibig sabihin na dapat kumplito po yung lahat ng exchangeable bases. Pwede uh, sodium lang, pwede calcium lang, pwede magnesium, or the combination. Sa either yung halang, tatlo, or kumplito. So, depende po yan. So ngayon, unknown po kung anong basic cations na andito sa 10 mili equivalent. Okay lang po yan kasi parehas lang po silang basic cations. What I mean is, para makompute po natin kung gaano calcium ang gagamitin natin para magiging 75. So now, we will compute kung gaano ba karami ang basis na andito kung 75% yung base saturation niya. Di ba kung 50%, 10 mil equivalent. How about if 75%? So we will compute that one. So in any guys, okay, the same formula. So basis 
is equal to percent base saturation, 75% or 0.75 times yung CEC niya guys, the same CEC, 20. So, 20 milli equivalent per 100 gram soil. So, yung answer po ngayon ay magiging 15 milli equivalent per 100 gram soil. Okay? So, ito po yung amount ng calcium carbonate na kailangan natin pala. Okay? So, we will just subtract this one from this para di ba yung tanong, gaano karami yung calcium carbonate from 50% na magiging 75%. So, paano po ba? So, we'll just subtract this one. So, 15 minus 10 is equal to 5. So, 5 milli equivalent per 100 grams of soil. So, this is now the answer. Okay? But in the question, ang tanong po dyan, yung unit dapat ay tons per 1 hectare of soil. So, dito po kasi is milli equivalent per 100 grams of soil. So, ang gagawin po natin ay we will convert this into ton per hectare. So, yan po yung gagawin natin ngayon.